In this lecture, we're going to look at something called titration. Now, titration is the process by which one slowly adds an acid to a base or a base to an acid with the purpose of determining the concentration of our unknown sample of solution. Now, whatever we're adding to our unknown sample is called a titrant. And a titrant could be either a base or an acid. So let's illustrate titration using a picture and then a graph. So, suppose we have some known volume of acid, say, um, I don't know, hydrochloric acid in our flask. And we have a pH reader attached to the inside of our flask. So at any given time, we could measure our pH. Now suppose we have some known concentration of base. And we begin adding this base drop by drop. Now before we add the base, our pH is, say, I don't know, 2. Okay? That's our pH. Now as I begin slowly adding uh, drop by drop, what will happen to our pH? Well, it will increase, right? But how will it increase? Well, let's look at the graph of pH versus volume added, where pH is the y-axis and volume added of our base, in this case, is the x-axis. <coughs> so, according to this graph, we see that the relationship is based on a sigmoidal curve. And what that means is that initially, when you first add some known amount of concentration of base, the pH change will be very little. The pH won't change by that much. And in fact, from this much to this much volume added, the pH only rises by maybe 0.5. But eventually, we come to a point where any more volume added will increase the pH dramatically. And we will come to a point where the pH will increase by 10 units. So why is that? Well, let's see. Now let's look at the reaction of sodium hydroxide with hydrochloric acid. Initially, we only have HCl in our mixture. And HCl dissociates into H plus ion and the chloride ion. Now the H plus ion is what's responsible for creating the acidic solution, for lowering our pH to a pH of 2. So what will happen when we first dissociate or add NaOH to our mixture? Well initially we only have a small amount of NaOH. And NaOH will dissociate into Na plus and OH minus. But since we only have a small amount of NaOH, that means we only have a small amount of these guys. And these guys are the ones that associate with HNCl to form water and NaCl. So initially, only a small percentage of these guys will reassociate into this form. And so we will see a decrease in the H plus ion, but a very small decrease. And that means we're only going to see a very small change or increase in pH initially. What will happen when the ratio of moles is 1 to 1? So suppose we have some ratio of HCl, some unknown, in our solution, and suppose we add that same amount of moles of NaOH. Well that means we're going to have a ratio of 1 to 1 to 1 to 1, and all these guys are going to reassociate to form water and NaCl. And what will happen then? Well, then our pH will become 7, right? And in fact, at this point, when the ratio of moles added is the same as the ratio of this guy, this point is called the equivalence point. And for NaOH and HCl, for a strong acid and strong base, this is a pH of 7. So we see that this point is the point at which we add enough NaOH that our ratio begins to equal out. Our ratio becomes closer and closer to 1 and 1. And as we add more, as we get closer to a ratio of 1 to 1, we get closer to our pH of 7. And that's why we see this large increase in pH. 
Now if we begin to add more of our sodium hydroxide, our solution becomes basic. And that's because all the acid has been neutralized and by adding more of this guy, we simply increase the concentration of OH. And so our solution will become basic. 